each one gets a basket like this that we saw in the garden center that my eyes spied pretty much straight away. And I thought, that's it, I'm done, I can go home now. But not quite. I had one more stop to do, and that was to get my pop filter. Now, my idea is just to line the basket with the hop filter. And I'm thinking, by golly, a spike should be able to get through that, no? Like I said, the plan was to fill the basket. How? I hadn't thought of. <laughs> you know, I honestly thought that Stanhopia spikes were tougher in being able to fight their way through an obstacle. I'm not saying concrete, but you know, oh, I have an obstruction here. Okay. And I'm going to go this way. And this is me thinking, you know, lava rock. Little pieces of lava rock here and there. You would have thought, well, I would have thought that didn't really matter. Now, I'm also very doubtful as to whether this will work. But I'm willing to give it a go. And now I have to just keep my wits about myself. Because quite frankly, I am exhausted. Just that picking apart and stuff that took me like three hours. I am exhausted. So I just need to make sure that I don't get ahead of myself here now. But I'm going to work with shredded pop filter and not layer it like I just tried folding it on itself, creating too much of a resistance, but making it like poofy, you know? that technical term of how texture works with inorganic media. Poofy. Because I'm very, very suspicious now about how Stanhopia spikes handle any kind of resistance. And I could actually think of doing uh, this stuff again because it was awesome. You can see after three years, it hasn't lost anything of its versatility. But I'm not going to do that because whatever I decide maybe needs to be added on media-wise for these guys, I can do that afterwards. But this is the plan. Stan Hopia goes in there and I will keep shredding more of, of the hob filter and then fill two baskets in and around it. And then this will be the media around the Stanhopia as well. I have no intention of adding anything else. I want to see if this works. I mean, surely, surely a spike can get through here. For real? We're going to find out. And I love these baskets because they have the handles. There's no need for that. They have those handles, so very easy to lift and transport. This morning started out so nice and calm, and I'm like, oh, perfect. Stan the man is getting his makeover on a beautiful, calm day where it's not so breezy, less agitation, less stress. <laughs> yeah, well, not quite. All right, that's it for the bottom layer. I'm not going to exaggerate too much, but I will see what happens when I fill it in. All right, see you soon. Right, they are having their sustenance. I poured myself one. I hope it doesn't trigger anybody, I hope. Sorry, but seriously, I was, yeah. I'm having a gin tonic. Okay, let's get the final show on the road here. In true bonsai fashion, 
I'm going to make my little supports through the middle, get them situated first. And I just, I thought of using zip ties, but when these, my, my plan is of course, that these Stanhopias will establish themselves well, then I can just cut them and pull instead of the zip ties being a problem with uh, having not that long zip ties. I would have to extend and extend and then it creates little holes or little resistance nodules and I can't just pull through. I'd be yanking away again in a more aggressive manner. And I have to say, from all that exerted effort, my hands are still shaking. So this all looks a little bit clumsy right now, and it's because my hands are like that. That was hard work. And not only that, but on the mind, you know, to be so radical, be so drastic. That, that takes its, at least it takes its toll on me. So let's get you over here. And already there is a little thing here with a growth. And ideally it should be up here. But I'm going to let it be as it is. And I'm just going to fill around with more of my fluff here. Now, ideally, I do want to keep separating more and more of it. But I think for the purpose of this exercise at this point, I am just going to secure the Stanhope here into the, into the basket in a, in a manner that doesn't go rot or in any way. Oh, that was a lot, wasn't it? Nina, Nina, Nina. I'm telling you. I'm a little bit at my wit's end here. Oh, for a minute there, I thought I could sit down. <laughs> But we haven't made this attempt. We haven't made this effort all this way in order to cut corners in showing you what I'm doing. So the plan was to go across the top and that is still the plan. But I have to put my little support in right at the bottom as you would a bonsai and take it from that way around. So I'm just going to secure my wire here on the edge and you'll see what I'm doing because I'll do exactly the same on the other side. This is a teachable moment here. Everything except for how well the Stanhopia grew was wrong in my previous setup. If you want a really nice growing Stanhopia, Give it a bit of cushion moss and a little bit of lava rock at the base and it will grow like mad. If you want one that blooms, don't. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> Not like that. Okay, let's try this again. I wish I would sh stop shaking. It would really help. Right? So this little growth, I want it to come out over the top. There's going to be a lot of watering needs on this orchid here. 
a lot. Because I'm not going to fill her up with anything else but the white stuff. Oh, and in permanent shade. So you can see I have these two growths coming here that I'm going to have to watch if they're not compromised after this ordeal. Woo! You see how light it is? <laughs> And there's another one over here, of course, which maybe I can guide up. I'll just keep my eye on it. But the exercise being to put more of this material around the edges. For now. And then once it is established of some sort, then I can either remove, add, or observe a spike. I don't want to crowd it. I don't want to overdo it. I want to see if this will work. I know she's not going to try and bloom now for another 12, 15 months. So the thing is, main focus right now is to cover up a little bit the exposed areas which are not used to being exposed just a bit and then be on top of things regarding watering like really on top of things something I'm gonna have to do when I finish this because it's been windy it's not hot but been a very dry wind so all the other orchids are gasping for some water just to keep their leaves ticking over and not drying out all right for now that's this one done let's see if we are more efficient on the next one i won't allow myself the luxury of sitting down just yet All this because I don't want to work with organic media, huh? Oh well. Maybe it will help somebody who'd like to avoid the same and still be successful with Stanhopias. We shall see. I would not have dared do this when the two pieces came into my possession. No way, no how. I was definitely much more timid back then, much more hesitant. So it was organic mixed with inorganic, which was clearly unsuccessful. But now with a two cuts like this, well, I think I can be more adventurous and then we can figure it out together. And I need to make two labels for chocolat et ten neuf, or whatever that is. For me, that is a summer chocolat et ten, meaning summer chocolate nine. Summer chocolate nine, okay. Whatever that means. This 
This is a much more coherent growing piece. It's got the growth going upright. The other one's a bit more of a spreader and leaner. All right, so that's that. And then the idea being, I will fill around that edge a little bit more. But the idea being that my job now is to keep doing this a lot for the coming weeks. I wonder how this video comes across from trying to indicate, showcase what I'm trying to do, how I took her apart, if any of it will be actually something that makes sense. So I don't, I don't know. But that is why we have comment sections. And I will appreciate your observations. I'm so, I can't even think straight. I will appreciate your observations, your thoughts, your doubts, and anything else that comes to mind after you've watched this video, for which I thank you very, very much. And if it hasn't put you off, I hope to see you next time. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Bye.